Basketball stars LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard could soon be socially distancing with Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. After the NBA announced its plans to resume its season at Disney World from the end of July. The NBA's Board of Governors tentatively approved a plan Thursday to play all the remaining games at the Florida Resort. All games and practices would be at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex, which is inside Disney's grounds. Multiple hotels and arenas on site would allow the league to also limit the amount of outside exposure for players and staff. 22 of the 30 NBA teams would initially play to clear up the postseason playoff seedings before eventually leading into the finals. Basketball in North America was the first major sports league to be suspended back in March. But if everything goes according to plan, a champion will be crowned by October the 12th. And the NBA said that the 2020-2021 season would then begin on December the 1st. All right, welcome back. We have Maka Anyangu joining us this morning and she'll be giving us more info on the restart of the NBA. Hi, Maka. Hi, good morning. All right, let's talk about um, the NBA. I mean, yes, they'll be playing in Disney, but do you think the Disney characters will be playing the games with them, the likes of Mickey Mouse and co? <laughs> um, so this is, I mean, first of all, this is the moment we've all been waiting for, right? Yeah. Um, I think the world has been sitting on the edge of their seats wondering if the season was going to be restart, when it would restart, are they going to just scrap it and... Um, now that the NBA has come to the decision and the board and the owners um, have voted for this, um, it's exciting. I think a lot of people are wondering how the analytics and the details and the logistics will go. But I think what we know now is, okay, they're going to kick off July 31st to be the first game. There's going to be 22 teams, 13 in the West, 9 in the East. Um, most people should, most of the teams should arrive July 7th. Um, there are some still logistical things to work out because, you know, you do have international players that need to come in. Obviously, they're going to have to be quarantined. You have, you know, also international teams such as Toronto that also needs to worry about travel and, and quarantine measures as well. But I think... I would have expected them to do something like this. I remember I was telling a friend that if this season was going to restart, I'm sure it's just going to be played in one place and kind of have like a tournament style um, play, almost like March Madness or something like that. So, um, you know, it, it's going to be interesting. August 16 and 17 should be the play-in and first round of um, playoffs should be August 18, second round September 1st. Conference Finals, September 15th, NBA Finals, um, September 30th. The last game should be played about August, uh, sorry, October 12th. Um, so it's, it's an interesting schedule, um, but obviously they had to take the best team for this, this uh, restart this season and try to crown an NBA champion. Um, I, unfortunately, obviously, there's not going to be fans. I think they're talking about potentially allowing some um, families to come and watch, but obviously that would also warrant quarantine measures. So I think as they're trying to work out all the extra details, we're all waiting to see how it would actually be. Now, do you advise on the teams staying together, being camped together in, World, in Disneyland, or should they come uh, travel down to the uh, uh, venue? Um, obviously, they have to be kept because, you know, we're still dealing with COVID-19. I think um, I also read that if anyone leaves Disney World campground, they have to now go into quarantine for 10 days before they can play again. So I think this is the only possible way to minimize um, infections and, and, and spread of, of COVID-19. All right, and uh, for you as a fan now, what are you looking forward to? Well, you know, my Warriors are out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, I mean, I, I've always, when everything was going as planned, I had my money on the book, mm. um, you know, Giannis, Milwaukee. So, yeah. I mean, we'll see. It, the thing is, you know, players have not been in their routine, mm -hmm. so it'll be interesting to also see how fit everyone is going to be, 
Um, you know, I'm sure there, you're going to have to get a couple of cobwebs out the first couple of games. I'm sure there'll be a lot of rusty guys, even though wow. I, I know a lot of um, players have been training still, but then there are also players that have not had access to court. So getting back into the groove, getting back into the routine of things should be interesting. So I think the first few games um, will be exciting to watch just yeah. to see how players get back into the groove of things. Now, let me take you back to your childhood now. You know, they're playing in Walt Disney. Um, which of these Disney characters would you have loved to see probably during the half, uh, the half time, to have a halftime performance, the likes of uh, Mickey Mouse and, and, and the rest? <laughs> of course, Mickey Mouse. I think everyone, I don't know anyone who's not a Mickey Mouse fan, um, <laughs> but yeah, definitely I would just say Mickey Mouse for me. <laughs> hmm. All righty. Thank you very much, Marka, for speaking with us today. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Enjoy the rest of your day.